Hello and welcome back. It's day three for us in Oahu, so let's jump right into it. So for the first time since we've been on the island, we actually have time for breakfast. So we're going to Moki's Bread and Breakfast. It's a quick and easy breakfast spot, sit down, and very busy. A lot of people came in while we were there. Quick turnover, no substitutions, you place your order, it comes out quickly. A lot of local Hawaiian breakfast items. I had the Mokupu omelette, which included Portuguese sausage, mushroom, green onions, and cheddar cheese with a hash brown. And Sierra got the Lilikoi pancakes, which are topped with amazing passion fruit sauce. Comes with a side of potatoes and eggs. And it's in the perfect location for what we're going to do this morning, and that is hike Diamond Head. All right, let's go over some of the basics. Uh, first, Diamond Head Monument Park is open daily from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. There is a $5 charge per person if you're a non-Hawaii resident. It's free if you're a resident with your state ID. It's, uh, there is also a $10 charge for parking if you're a non-resident. Reservations are required for non-residents, so you will have to go on their website. I'll put a link in the description. You go to the website, purchase your uh, your reservation, your ticket, as well as your parking. Um, you could do that two weeks prior to the date that you want to go, and then you're all set. Okay, we're about 10 minutes into this hike, and I will say that there's been a steady flow of people up until this point coming down. So, definitely crowds. Uh, there are people behind us. There were people in front of us. But, uh, so far, still fairly fairly crowded for about 8.30 in the morning Saturday. Just a quick note, the more you go, I think it's been about 20 minutes now, uh, the more you go, the uh, probably less than 20 minutes, maybe 15, uh, the more you go, the more uneven the pavement gets. To reach the top of Diamond Head, you have to walk through a very dark tunnel that's around 225 feet long. Now, depending on the time that you're walking through this tunnel, it can be very crowded of people, you know, traveling in both directions. So keep that in mind if you are claustrophobic. When you exit the tunnel, make a left and you'll be greeted to this view. If you happen to make a right, then you'll be greeted by these stairs. So don't make a right. As you can see, the summit of Diamond Head can be crowded. You'll find a bunker carved into the crater, but again, it's uh, claustrophobic, it's dark, and may not be comfortable for everybody. And this is the main event, which you paid to see, the view from the top of Diamond Head. What you didn't pay to see were all these people, but if you're patient and wait your turn, this space will open up and you'll be able to get your perfect Instagram pictures. Or you can be this guy who hopped the fence and climbed up to the pillbox for unobstructed views. So this hike is considered to be easy. Or at least I saw a lot of opinions online, YouTube videos and whatever saying, oh, Diamond Head is easy. And you know what? Relatively speaking, it's not difficult if you're in fairly good shape. If you're in fairly good shape and you have no issues with you know, climbing and walking and stuff like that yeah it's a fairly fairly easy hike but I've seen a lot of people um, struggling especially after the the inclines and the stairs a lot of people struggling out of breath um, probably didn't expect it to be what it is it is a lot of climbing um, yes it's trails going up yes it's stairs but uh, it can be a bit daunting if you're not prepared for it so just keep that in mind um, you will you will get tired if you're not used to something like this uh, also the funny part at the top you get a lot of kids complaining to their moms about why they're taking so many pictures uh, a lot of picture taking at the top so just be prepared for that and if you're a kid yeah you'll be there for a while taking selfies with your parents and we're back in the parking lot so it's 10 a.m we got here we pulled into the parking lot at 8 30 so our hike up to the top and back down including some selfie spots, picture spots, and just, you know, resting, resting spots and crowds and all that. 90 minutes. 90 minutes to hike the 1.5 miles up and down Diamond Head. So overall, not too bad. 
this concludes the, the final scheduled activity we had for our time in Oahu. The rest of today, Saturday, July 23rd, is pretty much free time. Not exactly sure how we're going to fill it yet. I think we're going to go to Honolulu, try and see the palace and maybe a couple things in Honolulu proper since we haven't really been there yet. Um, we're going to drive. Hopefully that's not a horrible idea. Uh, but we'll see how it goes and we'll take you guys along. So uh, next stop, Honolulu. And we've made it to downtown Honolulu. We're just outside of the Iolani Palace. Iolani Palace. Now we don't have tickets. I don't know if we can even get in here, but let's just find out. There it is. Actually, we got a pretty good parking spot just outside. Street parking It is $3 an hour. It is enforced until 6 p.m. on Saturday. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so we were able to get some tickets. We were able to walk up, pay cash, and uh, it's 10.30 and we were able to get tickets for 10.45. So it's $25 per person. And it's a self-guided audio tour. And we're gonna meet by the back staircase for our tour, which starts in about 10 minutes. And that across the street is the state capital of Hawaii or state capitol building to be more precise. And we're back. So no video is allowed in the building, but you can take pictures. So while I give you guys a quick overview of what we saw in the experience, I'm gonna share some of the pictures that Sierra took inside. So as I mentioned earlier, it's a self-guided tour. They recommend it takes about 90 minutes. We were able to go through everything in just under an hour. So they do give you an electronic device that you can hear the stories of each room as you go in. Everything is numbered, so you go into a room, you see the number, you go to that chapter number on your audio device, and you get a brief three, five, seven minute uh, mix of audio and video about that room. This is a tour we will recommend uh, for multiple reasons. One, it's the palace. Two, there are a lot of great and interesting things to see in the palace as well as how the palace was decorated and furnished. Plus you learn a lot about the history, the uh, history of Hawaii, the history of the lineage of King Kamehameha, his sons, different rulers, and ultimately how Hawaii became a U.S. state and some of the um, horrible things that happened that the United States government uh, recently apologized for. But now we're going to cross the street and check out this very famous statue of King Kamehameha located in front of a government building. If you're a fan of the new Hawaii Five-0, they always feature this particular view. So it was a must uh, when visiting Hawaii. We learned that everyone in Hawaii has a favorite shave ice spot. And one that keeps coming up is Waiola Shave Ice. The line can get long, so make sure you know how to order before you get to the window. First, how many you're ordering and the size. Then choose your extras, which is ice cream, mochi, coffee jelly, and edzuki beans. And then your toppings and your flavors. Okay, so our next stop is the, uh, I might pronounce this wrong, but Tantalus Lookout, which is in Honolulu, and you're supposed to have perfect views of Waikiki, Honolulu, Diamond Head, everything. So we can kind of get a glimpse of it yeah. as we walk here. Uh, but, uh, so straight ahead is the parking lot for the lookout. There were no spots. I think there were maybe 12 or 13 spots in total. Everything was taken. But just behind us was the parking lot for the picnic area, which had a lot of spots. So we just parked there. And now we're just walking through this grassy area to get to the lookout.
Our next stop is Salt, which is about a 10 minute drive from Waikiki and is a food hall, retail space, and is dog friendly. The murals are the main attraction. The location serves as an art hub with an impressive collection of original murals by local and global artists. Parking is free up to one hour. It's now 4 p.m. and we're heading back to our hotel in Waikiki. We're gonna cover the hotel in another video, but for now, we're gonna enjoy the pool and then have some dinner in Waikiki.